Hi there, Mary Elizabeth Parker here with my Random Facts Friday. So today, I thought I would talk about somebody I found while watching slash listening to YouTube videos of Cab Calloway, and that is Sugar Child Robinson. I will go and get my notes momentarily, but he was a phenom, so to speak, of the boogie woogie and blues and piano. He won his first talent con he won a talent contest at three years old in Detroit. Um, just a moment. Uh, so, uh, said he was he was born in Detroit in 1938. And he won a talent show at the Paradise Theater in Detroit in 1941, I believe it was. But still, at the age of three, he won a talent contest for playing piano and singing Boogie Woogie. That's kind of amazing. Why haven't we heard more about this guy? Is what I really want to know. Um, so, of course, I'm going to have my cheat sheet. This is a print up of his, his Wikipedia page, in case you're wondering where I get my facts from. Here's an article about, about him visiting the White House for a second time, which is another really cool fact. And then I do have a couple pages pulled up on my laptop nearby. So like I said, he won a talent show at three years old, um, and he was self-taught. So nobody forced him to learn piano. He was completely self-taught and managed to use techniques including slapping the keys with elbows and fists. It's pretty cool to watch. I do suggest looking him up on YouTube to see some of the videos of him doing this stuff. It's it's really neat. Um, so, in 1945, he played guest spots at the theater with Lionel Hampton, and Hampton was prevented from bringing Sugar Child Robinson, better also known born as Frank Isaac Robinson, on tour with him due to child labor laws. Um, to ch child protection legislation. Sorry, that is the exact wording that they used. Um, but he did perform on the radio with him. So he, he still got to do some stuff. He just couldn't go on tour because he was too young. Which, kind of surprising in that time period that they had those protections already set up. But it, it's great that they did. Um, let's see here. He appeared in several films. As I said, he had an IMDb, so of course he's been in films. Um, and in 1946, he played for President Harry S. Truman at the White House Correspondents Association dinner, even shouting, How am I doing, Mr. President? Trying to imitate his voice the best I can, but obviously can't. Um, which became his catchphrase. And he was actually the first African American performer to appear at the annual. White House Correspondents Dinner. Uh, so that's that's a big accomplishment, I think. And thank you for breaking those walls down. Um, and in the article that I have about him returning, it also states that he didn't realize he was making history. He just thought of it as another gig, another chance to play. Um, so I think that's pretty neat too. Or where else? Where else are some fun things to share? Um, he began touring major theaters, setting box office records in Detroit and California. In 1949, he was given special permission to join the American Federation of Musicians and record his first releases on Capitol Records. Pretty cool stuff. And let's see here. 1956, he continued to make occasional appearances as a jazz musician, billed as Frank Robinson, um, and performed on one occasion with Jerry Mulligan, but then gave up his musical career entirely. Uh, he actually asked his father for permission to stop for a while because he wanted to go to school. Uh, so, continuing his academic studies, he earned a degree in history from Olivet College and one in psychology from Detroit Institute of Technology. In the 1960s, he worked for WGPR-TV and also helped set up small record labels in Detroit and opened a recording studio. Uh, in recent years, he made a comeback as a musician. Yes, I know I'm basically just reading straight from the paper for some of these, but I'm still just kind of highlighting the, 
the coolest stuff. Um, came back as a musician with the help of the American Music Research Foundation. 2002, he appeared in a special concert celebrating Detroit music, and in 2007, he traveled to Britain to appear at a rock and roll weekend festival. Uh, it looks, it, and April 30th, 2016, he attended the White House Correspondents' Dinner on the 70th anniversary of his appearance at the 1946 dinner. And he did receive a standing ovation as the picture of him as child, as a child appeared on the video screen. So that's a pretty amazing career. I kind of wish I could find more information of what he did in between. Did he do anything more with his academic accolades as well? Or did he just kind of stick with the entertainment industry? Because even though he's doing TV behind the scenes, it's still creative. It's still entertainment. So, like I said, I found him by chance while watching something else on YouTube, and I thought, this is a pretty cool guy that we should really all learn about, and any child at three years old who, and honestly, I didn't even know it was a child performing until I looked down at the video, because I was more listening than, than watching, and that's when I realized, wow, that's a kid? So obviously he's not a child anymore. He's actually 78 as, at the time I printed this up. And still sounds like he's doing some stuff out there, and maybe not as much as he used to. And I'm glad that his, when he asked his father to allow him to give up performing and to pursue academics, that he apparently let him do such. That is so important that he actually listened to his kid. He wasn't just some stage father. Uh, and he did have a tutor with him on tour who would help him with his education. So it wasn't like he was missing school all along. He actually was learning. Uh, yeah. Again, I love music. So I find people who can play by ear exceptionally intriguing because that's something I struggle with. I tend to be more... I find myself constricted sometimes by the music, whether I'm singing or playing an instrument. I tend to use that as my little crutch, my little safety blanket. And so I have a little trouble with improv um, and feeling comfortable with it and just making things up as I go to a unique melody with other people at least. Sometimes I'll do it on my own. That's a whole nother story. Uh, so I am taking this opportunity to call out Frank Isaac Robinson, a.k.a. Sugar Child Robinson. Uh, I don't think it's appropriate to call him Child anymore. And I will say, if you do Google him, you might get Sugar Ray Robinson as well. Very different, different person. Also an amazing career. Um, but check him out. I, I actually am now inspired to find the album that they put out. Uh, I forget what year it was now, but of his hits. And I do hope to find that album. They did put it on a CD for his greatest hits. So it's not like you only can find it on records. So if you if you like his music after you check it out, I'm not going to include any here because I don't know how that's going to work copyright-wise. Uh, like I said, just look up Sugar Child Robinson and you'll find him. Um, and you can't see what videos I've watched because I watch on a different, different login name than I do for this channel. So again, this was Random Facts Friday, and I hope that you will be kind to each other and have a great weekend, and again, I hope that my Random Facts Fridays have been informative for you and that you're having as much fun with them as I am. I hope you have a great weekend again.